Literary fiction can be colors, different cultures, ethnicities. It could be all of us. We don't have to only be white male to be accepted into the literary canon. We can be Jamaican, black, female, gay, lesbian. I'm Nicole Dennis Ben, author of Here Comes the Sun. Here Comes the Sun is set in a fictional town called Riverbank in Montego Bay, Jamaica. It follows the lives of three women, Dolores, Tandy, and Margot, and how they would survive a huge resort moving into their fishing village. It taps into identity, race, class, and also sexuality on the island, depicting the other side of paradise. Usually when we see Jamaica sold to the world, it's usually about Bob Marley, or of course the sandals commercial that we see all the time on repeat. Invisible are the working class individuals who are behind that fantasy. Who are those people and what do they go home to? So I wanted those characters to come to the forefront. I don't fault tourists, but you know, developers from other countries coming in, having so much ownership of our country. While working class Jamaicans or Jamaicans on a whole, we don't have that ownership. Jamaica does not belong to us. A person doesn't have to be living in a resort country to feel this place. It happens in DC, it's happening in Bed-Stuy, it's happening everywhere. It's a struggle that we all carry no matter where we're living as blacks. In terms of how I was raised as a dark-skinned black girl, I was socialized to believe that I wasn't attractive, that I did not matter. I looked at walls and walls of Miss Jamaica universe being of a lighter skin color. Of course, the, the long hair to match. That was the epitome of beauty. Seeing my mother, seeing the women in my community just worship these girls and wondering, oh wow, so if I don't look like that, then obviously I'm not pretty or I'm not beautiful. That stayed with me for a very, very long time. The other irony though is that we also also exists along the Rastafarians and the Rastafarians are more you know black empowerment black beauty but the sad part is that we were socialized to fear them not to hear anything that they've been saying about black anything if I had been privy to the Rastafarian culture I wonder how I would have felt about my beauty then looking at these other girls in Jamaica growing up I hope the message is different put the Miss Universe and Miss Jamaica worlds as as girls from the coming from like Vineyard Town or from Tivoli Gardens as well on the world stage and not just as track and field stars. I have always considered myself a feminist, even growing up in Jamaica, which is very much, very much a misogynistic society. Only us can actually write ourselves as complex on the page, not caricatures, but document who we are, our stories, so that people can actually look at it and say, wow, you know, that's something that we need to start talking about more. Most of my works, I'm delving deeper into the stories of women because we're so used to being silenced. I want to turn it around, you know, have us tell our stories, document it without shame.